2020, year of the murder hornet. This year has probably been one of the worst years for so many people, for so many people who lost their jobs, for so many business owners who are going out of business. And right now, this anger, this unprecedented anger is starting to seep out. I woke up this morning and I checked the news. There are literally riots in every state. I want you to think, this, this has never happened before. We've had people who were killed by the police and we had riots in certain cities, but literally there are riots, there is looting, there are protests in every state. Now, I'm about to get a little biblical on y'all because when I read about these murder hornets, I was like, what's that about? And I went to the internet and I looked them up and they're huge. They're like two to three inches long. These are some, I mean, they, 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 put, they sting you, you gonna feel that. I mean, it's, it, it, it's crazy. And also, if you go back, I think we're on the 90 year bubble. And 90 years ago is when we had the Spanish flu, when we had the Great Depression. If you look back to 90 years ago, there was a lot of bad things that happened and I think the cycle has returned. And there will be awakening of America. Because as I said in the last video, there can't be two Americas. And I know that many people don't wanna hear this, but China is better positioned to have a V-shaped recovery than we are. Now, what does that mean? That means that China makes stuff. We as America abdicated our position in the world as the manufacturing. In the 50s to 60s to 70s, Detroit was the second world largest economy, Detroit. Now we're in this mess. Now we're in this situation where people are rioting, looters are every way. There was this woman who was coming home from the grocery store and the police just shot her with some kind of projectile and there's blood and everything dripping down her face. She wasn't even looting. She wasn't even riding. She was just walking home. So right now we're in a situation where we're going to have casualties. Um, I, f I forget the term of it, um, where you, you kill your own people. I forget the term of that, but Right now, we're having situations where people who are not protesting, who are not looting, who are not rioting, but they're being impacted. This is how widespread this is. This, this, is, this is how crazy it is right now. And one of the things that, like last night, <clears throat> we had a curfew in Atlanta, and I posted it on my Facebook page, and many people said, we have curfews as well. I was just like, this is the global reset of America. Now, let me tell you what's about to happen. First of all, the, the great American lifestyle that you used to have, for many people, that's gonna disappear. We're gonna usher in this new normal. And this is something that was gonna come before the, the murder hornet, before the pandemic, because how often have I talked to you about van life? Van life is literally about to explode. If you want to make some money, start buying a whole bunch of old vans and, re and converting them into livable habitats and reflipping them. You're going to be able to flip vans like people are flipping houses. You go out, get something that's messed up, recondition it, make it livable, make it and you know, sell it for three, four times what you paid for it. Right now, it is crazy what's going on in America. It is crazy. And the, as someone said in my comments, the sleeping giant has awakened because the people are beginning to realize that something ain't right. Something's amiss. Something isn't pleasant. Something isn't good. And now people are reacting. And part of this is from the lockdowns. 
Never have so many people had so much time to reflect, to think. Right now, this is, this is one of the craziest things that happened. Or the, there are people who wear the mask. There are people who don't wear the mask. And the people who don't wear the mask are putting Facebook posts up talking about that mask ain't going to protect you. Wearing the mask is just stupid. They're putting time, effort, and energy into these conversations because that's where they are. And also, I want you to understand one of the things that's going on. I want you to look at your YouTubers' comments. Like right now, so many people have went to the stimulus talk videos because they get views. So many people want that stimulus check. I want you to look at who's leading and who's toying with your emotions. Like I said, in my live streams, I put out, I don't think there's going to be another stimulus check. And the Senate, they went on vacation. They went on recess. That's how much of a hurry they are to do this second stimulus check thing. They went on recess. McConnell's talking about we can let the states go bankrupt. He won't, he'll have no problem with that. They're not trying to let any more money go. I want y'all to understand that. They went on recess. America is literally burning. There was a dude in, in uh, North Carolina who was trying to set this building on fire. He set himself on fire. <laughs> People wilding out, man. People wilding out. He set himself on fire. People have unmitigated, undirected anger. They don't know what to do with this anger. So it's just coming out and they're doing whatever they're doing. And it is crazy. But here's something for those of you who watch this channel and get this information. If you're angry, good, be angry, but direct that anger into a positive channel. Don't be out here setting buildings on fire, setting cop cars on fire. That's just craziness. Take your anger and focus it on rebuilding you. Because essentially during this global reset, there are many Americans who are gonna be living van life, there are many Americans who are going to be homeless. There are many Americans who are going to be eating dog food. That's how bad it's going to get. That's how bad it's going to get. And so many people don't want to face that because, you know, with this, this whole V-shaped recovery, it, it ain't in the cards, people. So how does one get out of this? How does one? The first thing is you've got to channel your anger. As a person who went through some stuff, I was really angry at what happened to me because I was like, this is just so unfair. This is just so wrong. And then when my anger was unchanneled, my life didn't get any better. Actually, it got worse. So just be angry if you want to, wilding out, doing what you're doing. It's going to make things worse unless you channel your anger. And when I got laid off that last time, I channeled my anger. I, I had a quiet rage. I said, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm going to go home and I'm going to figure it out. And that's exactly what I did. I figured it out. I changed up the whole game plan. I changed it up. And this is what you're going to have to do because check out my video, the left behind class. If you don't want to be left behind, because right now, I understand, America, you're pissed off. I understand that you are waking up. I understand that. But what are you waking up to? What is your plan? What is your plan of action? What is your plan to do things differently? What is your plan to escape the left behind class? What is your plan? Rioting? Protesting? They ain't going to get it. The powers that be, they ready for that. They, they're ready for that. That's like, oh, you act a fool. We're going to call the National Guard. We're going to enforce martial, martial law. We're going to create curfews. They, they got a plan for that. But what are you going to do to make your life better? 
what are you going to do to change your situation? Because 2020, the year of the murder hornet, is one of the worst years on record for virtually everybody. Except, you know, Costco, Target, Kroger, Amazon. There are many businesses that are making more money now than they do at Christmas time. But these businesses were positioned. They were set up to make that money. What are you going to do to set yourself up to make money? What are you going to do? Link below, I have a course. I'm going to give you a discount. And I'm going to have a webinar. I don't know if this is going to be posted before that webinar, but the webinar will be recorded. And I'm going to talk about things that you need to do to have a good future. The link is below. Go ahead and get into that. Because one of the things that so many people fail to understand is how money is created. And everybody wants to rent seek. I know you want to do the stock market. I know you want to do Forex. That serves you. It doesn't serve anyone else. You're playing the game. And there are some people who do Forex and day trading and they make a lot of money. But I, I guarantee if you were to sit them down and talk to them and ask them how was the beginning, they would say, oh man, I lost a lot of money. Are you willing to go through that process of losing a lot of money to learn how to make money? Are you? Because that's what people want to do. People don't want to be bothered. People don't want to be encumbered with a duty and honor in serving their fellow man. They just want to get the bag and be out. Be doing what they want to do. You know, it, it, it is crazy some of the things that are happening right now because there's opportunity. There was this guy on Instagram who started something called Demon Time. And where he would get these girls to strip and they would wear a mask. These girls who were stripping on Instagram were making more money than girls stripping in the clubs. Opportunity is here. Now they're, I think they're doing it on OnlyFans. There's so many, there, there's, see, because once again, <clears throat> there is opportunity in this mess. Everybody ain't laid off. I and mean, I think unemployment's about 26, 27 percent right now. That means 75 percent of the people, 74 percent of the people still have jobs. They still have income coming in and they're going to spend because America, you got punched with this pandemic thing. You got totally upended. Some of you are going to because now we're at the position where the states have put into play evictions. Because see, the next three months, the next 90 days are going to be critical. June, July, and August. These states that have, have reenacted their eviction process and opened up the courts, you're going to see a lot of people evicted. This is going to be sad. It's going to be heart-wrenching. It's going Because these folks, they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't ask to be laid off. It just happened and they got caught up. So you're going the next 90 days, June, July, and August are going to be a pivotal quarter for America. You're going to see people evicted and they're going to start repoing cars and they're going to start. I don't know about the foreclosure thing. I think that's going to be a 2021 move. I think that's when that's going to happen because of the forbearance. But you're about to see even more angry people because you, you were working your job, you were doing what you need to do, you showed up and you got laid off, the government told your business to close and now you're homeless. Now you've been evicted. That's enough to drive a person crazy. Right now, domestic abuse is at an all-time high. Suicide rates are skyrocketing because people don't know how to cope. People are not ready for this. America, in many ways, has become a nation of fragile people. People aren't built for this. 
and it's going to get a little worse. That, that's the thing. It's going to get worse. So what is one to do? First thing you need to do, I know this is going to sound kind of crazy. You need to get yourself a routine. Sitting around at home all day, just wasting time, letting things happen, not being gainfully employed or occupied is one of the worst things you can do for yourself. This is going to lead you to be in a situation where you're going to lose whatever good habits you have. You're just going to sit around and become a useless person. And before the pandemic, 15% of America was useless. These were people who had low IQs. These were people who were in certain situations. They just could not become gainfully employed with certain jobs. They, most job they could do is they could push a mop, they could be a janitor or something. That 15% is about to go to 30%. And there's gonna have many people who could be useful and practical people, but the people out here are just existing. They're not buckling down, they're not reading, they're not taking online courses. There are so many ways that you can actually level up during this if you actually become industrious. You get busy, you start working on yourself, you start building. Because America, we have a changing of a guard. The country is going like, we may very well in the next five years see China as the world's number one economy and superpower. I know that many of you patriots, many of you people who love America don't want to hear that, but let's talk about how did that happen. Going back to the 70s when we started getting rid of our manufacturing base, when we started getting rid of pensions, when we started getting rid of jobs to make more money, to game the system. Well, instead of hiring this American, we're gonna hire this person in Vietnam. Instead of paying this American 25 bucks an hour, we're gonna pay this person in Vietnam 25 bucks a day. If that, that's where it started. And I feel that this whole thing is going to bring manufacturing back to America because if we see China become the world's number one superpower and number one economy, because they're number two right now, they're not that far off. GM sells more cars in China than they do here in America. We will see a serious changing of the guard. We will see a serious changing of attitudes because one of the things that we need to look at is leadership. And the current leadership we have is not suited for the job. They're not. Many of these people have tapped out, turned their head, and they're like, I'm not going to deal with this. So in the absence of leadership, you're going to have to become your own leader. You. Yes, you, America. You're going to have to become your own leader. You're going to have to become self-guided. You're going to have to become the thing that you're not right now you will need to do it. Because like I said, this rioting stuff, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I woke up this morning and I just scanned the news and it was just crazy. This seething anger that so many Americans have. And it's literally in every state. Every state we've got people doing this stuff. Every state we have people who are upset and angry. Every state. And it will pass. As everything does, but at what cost will it pass? Because once these evictions start, once you start seeing all these people, billions of people evicted, the economic carnage of that is going to be devastating. Then when they start repoing cars, the same people who are going to get evicted they, before they get evicted, they may go out there and find their car gone in the morning. I mean, it's just going to keep getting worse because, see, one of the things is once you start to fall out of your economic class, it can be a free fall. That's an airborne term. 
I'm about to shuffle to the door. I'm going to drop out the door. I'm going to shuffle to the door and I'm going to hit a free fall and you just And it's going to be so hard to fight against that gravity of falling out of your economic class. Unless you start fighting right now. Unless you start going ahead and changing what you're doing. Because the old school way of being successful is no longer valid. It, it don't work no more. Look at what happened to all these people who had jobs. <coughs> they had jobs. They were paying their bills. They were doing what they needed to do. And then a the job left them. Just like that. And they were in harm's way. Right now, you've got many women who set up an OnlyFans page. You got many women who are jumping on sugar daddy sites because they need money. They need help. Prostitution is has exploded. I don't care about no uh, coronavirus. People still getting it in. Pimping has exploded. Drug use has exploded. Alcoholism has exploded because people are having problems coping. In this coping and trying to cope in trying to exist in this new system is so hard because see with the new system, all of the old rules are gone. Get a job, work hard. That's that's gone. And like I said in another video, the hostile employment or environment after the pandemic, these companies you think they're ruthless now? You ain't seen nothing yet. So what is one to do? One is to sit down and evaluate your situation. So this is what I want you to do. And I know for some of you, this is going to be really scary. I want you to sit down and add up all of your bills and all of your debt and see what that number is. Now, some of you will be able to file bankruptcy because you've lost your job because the bankruptcy laws have changed where if you had a job, you were forced to file a chapter 13. Well, many of you won't have jobs and it's just going to be a clean swipe. You can file bankruptcy and get rid of all of this stuff. And in two to three years, you can start rebuilding your credit. But I want you to actually honestly and openly see where you are economically. And then you're going to take that number, whatever it is, and then you're going to look at what you have in terms of assets, cash on hand, stocks, bonds, whatever that may be. And you're going to know exactly where you are because this is where it starts. It all starts with positioning. It starts where you're positioned. This is how some people who are already millionaires are going to become multimillionaires. This is how people who are already multimillionaires are going to become billionaires because they're they're close. See, America, many of you are not close to anything because you haven't been building anything. You don't have nothing set up and you're going to have to start that beginning, that, that process from scratch. That's what you got to do. That's one of the things that you got to set up because I'm here to tell you that this thing is not going to get any better. It's going to get worse and you're going to have many, many people in harm's way. And you have a choice to make. Are you going to be in harm's way or are you going to elevate above that? And it's going to be about the decisions that you start making right now because the unemployment Benefits run out July 31st. And the Senate ain't in the mood to extend these unemployment benefits. They're not in the mood. They're not in the they're, they, they ain't feeling that. And this is why I say these next 90 days, July, June, July and August are going to be pivotal for many, many people in America. Because what's about to happen is going to be cataclysmic. And then you may see rioting in the streets, not because of George Floyd, but because people are hungry. People are poor. People need assets. So 
what we're going to do, because I don't know when this video is going to be posted, so it may be today or you may see this later, but I'm going to do a webinar talking about the things that you need to do. The link is below to weather this storm. And it ain't going to be stuff that you would think that you need to do. It's going to be totally different. So the links below. Go ahead and get that. Right now, 2020, the year of the murder hornet, we've never seen nothing like this. We've never gone through anything like this. And this is rippling, ripping through the world. Germany is in recession. Sweden, the country that didn't lock down, is going to have a recession. The UK is in recession. Australia is in recession. This thing is resetting the whole global template. And who's going to come out on top? Will America come out on top? Just depends. It really depends. Because one of the things that we have in our favor is our military. And another thing that we have are our financial markets. And another thing that we have is our housing market. So we will see if these economic engines will pull us out of it. And if we will remain the world's top economy and the world's top superpower. Because these things are being denigrated as we speak. If you're looking to buy a house, wait until 2021. You're going to be able to get one really, really the good price. Because there will be foreclosures, there will be evictions, there will be people, there will be some people's fire selling their property. I already saw that when I was looking at getting into real estate. I already saw evidence of that before the pandemic. So what you got to do is put yourself in a position to win. And it's not going to be, you know, some mythical, majestical magical moment where you snap your fingers and then money just comes out the sky. They ain't, they ain't happening. But I can tell you as a person who used to be homeless, as a person who was suffering all of the economic woes that many of you are about to suffer, you can't overcome. It takes time. It takes attention. It takes diligence. But it can be overcome. So join me. Links below. And we'll talk about it, and I will give you the recipe on how to beat this thing. So with that, I'll see you guys in another video.